Okay, it's about 1 o'clock, 1.30, January 20th. I wasn't going to go out today, but I figured I would. I got nothing better to do, and I always love to spend my time in the stand. It's the coldest day of the cold front, and we got a fresh cover of snow on the ground. It's going to be pretty cool. This camera's been dead for about a week, so it's kind of a toss-up on what's going to come in. But before it died, we had consistent action there. And considering it's so cold, I think we're going to see stuff. Um, I'm excited to get out there. Regardless of what happens, it's always nice to get out in the stand. And I'm excited.
trail should be good. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Okay. There's the arrow, first shot. Some good blood spray. A little bit of guts, it was quartering too hard. Let's go see the second shot. There's some over here. here. Sorry about that. There's some more. There's some more. There's this creek right here. And there's my deer. Awesome. 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 Very cool. As you can see the first shot came out a little back. But the second shot hit him pretty good. So here I'll pose him up for you guys and we'll get a nice closing video. As you can see, we got ourselves some fresh venison. Can never have enough of that. It was a great hunt this afternoon. I got in the tree late, um, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter. I got in the tree, I got everything set up, and I looked behind me 10 minutes later, and I could see them coming. <laughs> it, uh, it's the coldest day of the cold front. I knew they'd come early today. Um, it's a January season. I think it's January 21st. I might be wrong, but I think it's January 21st. So season's coming to a close. I had one more doe tag left and I gladly filled it with this guy right here. Beautiful, beautiful little button buck. The venison's gonna be amazing. So yeah, I'm in a state where, where baiting is allowed in this area. If you guys have questions about that, but yeah, we had a great hunt this afternoon. Great memory. Got it all on film. Um, I usually don't like to take shots that are quartering too. And I could have waited. And I should have waited. But um, I was confident I could get them. And as you saw, it didn't do the exact trick the first shot. I had to follow up with another. Um, but with my broadheads that I'm shooting, I'll show you what I'm shooting. I figured I could get it done. I'm shooting these, oops, I have one rage in there. I'm shooting these iron wheel single bevels and uh, most of the time they can punch right through a shoulder and they did. The shoulder on the exit is completely broken. Um, but I figured I could punch through that first shoulder and still get as long since it is a small deer. Um, but yeah, that wasn't the case. But anyways, we followed up with a quick second shot and killed him cleanly and it was a great hunt. Some more back strap for the, for the fryer. Some more venison for the freezer. You can't get any better than this. Just come out here, wherever you are, whatever your expectations are. Come out in the woods and enjoy yourself. If you're gonna shoot something smaller than what other people would shoot, do it if it makes you happy. This sport is about enjoying yourself out there, not about what other people think. And man, oh man, am I happy. What a great late season hunt. 
you can't get any better than this.